I'm making this video as a reminder of when the beginning of the end of this country occurred. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. That was the moment. It wasn't when the Twin Towers hit. It's when Republicans, or I guess technically they're neocons or whatever, it's when they made that statement. Because after that, Republicans would tell people continually that if you state anything negative about Bush or any of his policies, that you are un-American. News anchors were terrified of losing their jobs if they dared to say anything negative about Bush during that first year after Bush made the most polarizing statement ever made by a president. It was at that point when polarization that we've been continuing to see the results of today with SJWs and the anti-SJWs, with the feminists and the traditionalists, with the black racists, the white racists, the racists all around. The thing that started all of this shit was that same moment. We were already in a creative recession. We had been for, I don't know, about three years or so. We were already in a creative recession. And what I mean by that is, there are times we come up with new styles, audibly, visually. There are times that we have new concepts for the future. And there are times when we just sort of go into a little recession. Well, that started around 98. And by the time 9-11 happened, and by the time George Bush made these statements. Either you're with us, either you love freedom, and with nations which embrace freedom, or you're with the enemy. There's no in-between. You're either with us or you're with the enemy. That's, that's clear. I will continue to make that clear. We were done. And the only real change we had was, oh boy, look, the iPhone. And from that point on, we had, you know, smartphones everywhere. But we've lost our way. Everything has been about refining what we have. You can only do that for so long. Especially if what you have is a turd. You can only shine up a turd so much before you, you could look at it and go, well, that's just a turd. And so now we have the type of polarization that we're probably not going to recover from. And some people want to blame SJWs, and some people want to blame the anti-SJWs. The truth is, this shit started during the Bush administration. Sure, we've, we've had patterns of polarization off and on throughout our history. This goes well beyond that. This marked the beginning of the end of this country. We're not going to survive the patterns of this. Not unless something major happens. And we're certainly not going to get out of these patterns under Trump nor Hillary. They're just going to get worse under either of those candidates, under either of those presidents. So if we survive the next four years, maybe there'll actually be some sort of candidate who can really truly make a difference and actually has a chance of being elected. Or maybe things will become so corrupted by then that there's no chance we'll ever have a reasonable candidate like, you know, uh, Sanders again. And the next time we end up seeing a decent candidate will be under a new government. And will that government still be considered uh, the United States or will it be part of a larger government? 
Will we be part of the UN? Who knows? We have so much shit coming up. I mean, as I've said, we have technology, which is going to be taking over jobs. I mean, we've, we've had automation taking over jobs for a long time, but the amount that that is going to change in the future goes well beyond anything that's happened in the past. Well, well, well beyond that. I mean, even delivery jobs are going to be taken over by technology. And sure, it's going to seem great for the first few years when we start to get this. It'll seem great for consumers. But when we watch all of our jobs disappear, to where it's like only the elite have jobs, we're done. We're done. Our economy will never survive. Our citizens will never survive. And we're certainly not going to implement some sort of uh, government-issued uh, basic income for, for everyone. We wouldn't be able to afford it anyway. Not at that point. So, yeah, we've, we've got a lot of shit coming up. And unless we get someone eventually in office who's ready to deal with that stuff, yet we're done. It kind of seems doubtful we'll even survive the next four years because of the patterns that we're in. But who knows? What kind of cultural war are we, are we in for? Who knows? But I do know this. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. This is when the shit hit the fan. This is what marked the beginning of the end of this country. And we'll just sit there and grin and pretend everything's fine. Except those damn SJWs and those damn anti-SJWs. We're done. We're just watching a slow death. <laughs>